What up, what up, what up, family? How y'all doing? Canton Jones here. Ramona Jones. Yes, um, and we are here to share about uh, our, our love story and our marriage. Uh, we've been married uh, going on 20 years. 20 wonderful years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we started dating in, um, in the 90s. Uh, I, for, for a lot of people, they were like, ooh, the 90s. I wasn't even born. Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, so first of all, um, I'm going to kind of stick to the theme of what we were given because I think it's, um, really awesome. Um, when you talk about giving, you talk about receiving and creating, Yeah. um, you know, um, when you talk about giving, uh, one of the scriptures, uh, of course, everybody know the familiar scripture, John three sixteen, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And so we understand that there's a correlation between giving and love. You can't love me and always take. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got to. It, there's a there's a a give and take in a relationship just like breathing if you inhale for the rest of your life you die if you exhale for the rest of your life you die and so it's imperative that you give and receive and so we're going to be talking about giving right now and then we're going to move into receiving so um as a as a husband most of the times um we are in the position to give um we give the seed to the woman the woman incubates that seed and then nine months later you have the result of that seed the glory of that man which is a child yes. which is a creation mm -hmm. uh so we have a giver we have a receiver then we have the creation um also uh the, the world need to understand that the origin of a kingdom uh even if you go to the scriptures god said let us make man in our image male female so in one sentence there was never male without female exactly they they are one so they cr he, he created them together so that they can be creators i i can't stay on just one i'm, I'm getting ready to be all over giving receiving and and creation because it's kind of like all of them go together and so when you talk about giving i'm, I'm gonna let my wife uh talk talk to this uh but when you talk about from a man's perspective i love being the provider in my family you know um not just money not just material things but i am a provider physically mentally emotionally and spiritually you know i encourage i i am the giver my wife uh receives but she's also a molder so i i, I, want, I want i want you to before i even go yeah. any long, and we're going to tell our story but i want you to speak to that real quick well you're talking about giving and being the giver mm -hmm. and I know, I know a lot of people try to avoid that word you know compromise right 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 and it's not such a bad word compromise is not a bad word you're you're giving the other person the advantage mm -hmm. that's what that is so that's a form of love as well you 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 let that person win you let that person uh uh if we're having an argument there may be something that I want to I have a, a statement that I want to make or a point that I want to bring down. I'm, you know, I believe this, 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 but this time I'm going out of love. I'm going to allow him to take that one. Yeah. You know, there's so many things that we can argue about. There's so many things that we can disagree on. But when you're giving the other person the advantage, then that's the ultimate love to me. Yeah. As and, a giver. And, and sometimes uh, you have to be the person because, uh, you know, we 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 have arguments a lot of people are like really yeah we have arguments there's there's nothing better and i know pastor uh shout out to pastor wilson uh first lady wilson um you know ain't nothing like makeup sex in a marriage praise god amen so yes <laughs> uh so you're gonna have your arguments um uh we had one recent you know whereas my wife has learned to just kind of let me get it out and then if it's her turn kind of let let her get it out and then um and then you know i apologize later on um, i think we both have matured in our yeah, arguments in our arguments you know after they 20 used to be years violent. yes after 20 years yeah, first lady that first hush 
the first year I, I remember those those arguments yes there were some flying words that weren't so godly but I, I would say after 20 years we've learned how to mature right. and learn how to actually get our point across and not let the other person feel lesser I yeah guess. I, I, I used to be uh when we first got married I am a shut down I used to shut down and walk away type of guy like I don't want to argue you know I just shut down and my wife she want to talk it through so that was very very difficult for me earlier in our marriage to to talk things through and the talk it through part is so that we won't have to do it again yeah so you, you know yeah, yeah so you won't have to I, have the I, same I to argument that. later on let's, just, let's handle this now so that we won't be able to you won't have to do this again yeah i, I i've i've uh shut down and not talked for like three days yes. at, at the house you know my wife is you know cooking or she might be in front of the tv i'm laughing at the tv but acting like she's not there and it's just like really i didn't know how to articulate how i feel i didn't know how to articulate that hurt my feelings and i thought it was weak to admit that mm -hmm. that hurt that hurt my feelings until i got to the mature level to say you know what this person has your back you really need to let her understand how you think and and what what scarred you because sometimes things happen way before, before. we got mm -hmm. together and so that may bring up certain certain things of old and i and she didn't know and right. then we go through that spat and so we've learned and i had to cultivate the fruit of the spirit of patience yeah. and so for me it was you know be patient let him get it out or let him you know be able to articulate like you said the yeah. way you want to so i won't be hurt later on yeah. or years later because I, I didn't like how you cussed me out or you know whatever but yeah, and my that. wife and I'm I'm a producer. I make you know, of course, I make music. Most people know me by that. And as a producer, you get to make you know put your emotions in 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 music. Yes. So if if that beat is super hard and super angry, then she, I know he's mad. She know I'm upset. <laughs> you know, I ain't playing no no melodies. Bishop is just 808. Boom boom. Hey, <laughs> hey that's all you hear is anger in the basement. <laughs> and so uh, we've learned to give each other that. Mm -hmm. We've learned to, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give you this one. Uh, sometimes, uh, what I've learned, my wife, when she presents a, a case and say I didn't know, it takes away my defense. Like she know that she. <laughs> no, and, and, I don't. And now no. I'm realizing. No, I'm just telling the truth. That's how she went. No, I'm telling the truth. <laughs> because I can't argue if she takes the defense, which means. I, I I didn't know that was my bad. Let's move on. And I'm like, all right, man, God, you know. And so we've learned to be mature. We have four kids. Um, if you know anything about my music, I named every instance in my life, not just my kids, but I like, I named every instance, every big moment in my life after a record. And so uh, we have Dominion, Dominionaire, Canaan, God City, uh, Justice, I Am Justice, Love, Love Jones. Ramona Jones is 20 years, 3 months, 12 days. A lot of people didn't know that. Uh, my mom's record is called Ghost. My dad's record is called Power. Just uh, when I came into the, um, uh, when I understood Jesus better, I made the password Jesus. Mm -hmm. When I understood the kingdom, I made kingdom business. And so most of, most of the times, uh, my records are big instances in my life. And so my wife has been my, my number one fan. She's been the person that runs my business all of these years. Um, and I want to I want to speak to that about uh, business. Most of the times marriage, uh, the first curse in the Bible after Adam, Adam and Eve, well, one there was a couple curses. One, he had to work by the sweat of his mm -hmm. brow. And most marriages are attacked we're talking about kingdom now. Most marriages are attacked because of time away. All right. So you have eight hours a day if you have a job. Uh, it depends on how much you work away from your husband. And, 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 and so that time is because you guys have to go to work. I talked about the rich young ruler the other day. And he was asking, how can I live that this life that you guys are living, this God type of life, this Zoe type of life. Jesus was like, sell all that you have, you know, take uh, and come follow, follow me. And he, he, he was sad at that saying because he had great possessions. Basically, he had to go back to work right. to, to take care of mm -hmm. all the possessions that he had. And Jesus was like, this kingdom way, if you follow me, I will tell you 
how to make your resources and so uh, and how to make ends meet. And so I think with our with us, we have spent our literal lives together, which means we've worked together side by side for 20 yep. years. Now I don't I'm not telling you you probably can't handle your spouse that much 24 that hours much time. a day. You <laughs> might say, "Bro, you need to go somewhere and play soccer. Do something. <laughs> go soccer. go cut down a tree. Do, go <laughs> dig a hole. Get your dog. You know, you know. <laughs> it might it might be uh some time that you may not understand, you know, that you that you guys may not want to spend together because that's just too much time to be with, with. But that hasn't been our case. And so, we've worked in the same office. We we she's been my booking manager all of this time. She manages everything. Everybody that know anything about me on a business level know that they have to go through my wife uh and and you know, so any woman, any man, whoever, any pastor has to go through my wife to get to me. And I think that that has brought us closer together. Yeah. Um, uh, through and that's the through years. all arguments and everything. So yeah. I, he can't be mad at me. I can't be mad at him. And we still have bills to pay. And we still have to handle this business. And I still have to have that conference call. And we still got to do yeah. things together. So that's the. I think that's the thing that helps us the most is that we have to spend all this time together. So we can't, you know, get into this mode where, well, I'm going to go go to work and talk to somebody else yeah. about you yeah yeah like i have to talk to you about you yeah 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 you if i'm go, mad at you i your, talk to you go to about your work you. husband no yeah, no, no yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah i talk to you yeah about i pull up on a work husband <laughs> real quick yeah yeah i pull up on a work husband yeah yeah that thing just got real real right there you know what i'm saying uh <laughs> so uh i think um you know our relationship is unique you yeah. know a lot of times uh p- people come you know come up and go through college and have their own dreams uh and i just got lucky to have you to be honest with you um so that because uh everything that i need is in you literally like you know my <laughs> wife like to grab the table she like to serve she like to you know she she got a little tomboy in her so you know we try to get out on the basketball court and you know it's the, and i beat y'all didn't i uh yeah i did can you not bring that up uh, yeah i did yeah she beat us she <laughs> cheated no bro. no no she, no she cheated <laughs> but uh she but we'd like to do everything together so i think the, all of the things that god put in you and then all the things you put in me we give to each other. Yeah. For instance, we I went to Spelman, you went to Morehouse. Yeah. You went for business and I end up getting all of the business that you learned. Yep. I went for music yep. and and look at yep. what you're doing. Right. So I think that's amazing how God put all those things. I, I've gone to the school of Canton. That's what I call it. Kato. I've learned yeah. K, school of Kato, yeah. yes. And I've learned how to do so many things. Just all the things that I could have learned in school, I learned from you. Yeah, we, we, we hood with it. So we learn everything. We just like I liked creating, uh, I, from from put hanging lights to making beats to writing songs to, to every everything. Our kids are like that as well, very creative. Um, and so when it comes to a a giving relationship, and a receiving, the Bible says give. A lot of times uh, we use this for an offering scripture. But uh, giving it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over the same measure that you meet with all, mm-hmm. it shall be given unto you again. So so most of the times we think about offering, right. but that's give anything. Anything, anything you give. Your you time, give, your You give that effort. woman a meal. Right. I mean, you give a grocery, she makes you give you a meal, pressed down, shaken together. You right. know what I'm saying? That's cake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you give her hell... She'll give you more than that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And so uh, most of the times a wife incubates uh, the whatever's going on in the in the culture of your home and give it back to you. Um, good measure, shaking down, uh, pressed down, shaking together. Um, same thing as a seed. I give her a seed from my body, put it in her body. She gives that same seed back to me nine months later. So that's how it works. So you're talking about. Uh, one guy said, man, uh, you know, I'm going through hell with my wife. I was like, well, you're probably, she's probably living out the culture that you've sown wow. into her. You're, 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 you're living out the culture. So what you have to do is grin and bear this season while planting another right. season for your future. So your harvest oh will be my different. God. Right. So, you, so while she cussing you out, you have to speak good words. Yeah. While she cussing you out, you got to you got to do good things mm-hmm. so that later on that when that season come, you're now harvesting harvesting what you planted in last season. And I think that's the mistake we always want to we expect for that person to change first, right? 
right. when it's really let me change first let right. me be the one to step out and, and change and make the changes first wow which is which is difficult when you come in a uh when you're we're born selfish right you know we're born selfish i want you to do it my way um you know i talk about the what about me's yeah that's yeah. a disease that i talk about you know what about me what about my knees what about me 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 yeah and so yeah you have to avoid that and I, and I try to look at it as a, a, a family situation. Um, when you have a child, you, you're so in love with that child. You look, look at your little feet. Look at your hands. Oh, nothing like a baby spell. Just, uh. but, the, but the trip about it is that baby is so selfish. <laughs> that baby's not giving you any type of love. It's not, it's, not, it's not folding your clothes. It's not making you bath water. And you, you're giving love and you are in love based off of the love that you're giving yeah. and not receiving. Right. And so that is the same. In the hopes that they'll love you when they grow up. There you go. That's the harvest. There you go. Yeah. And, and the faith that, they, and, and eventually they go off and do their own. Right. Thing. But, but, but that is the same way that you have to love in your marriage. Um, uh, giving um, with hopes to receive, but you don't change because, you know, they change and sometimes you're going to have a bad day they're going to have a bad day that happens uh hopefully you've invested so much in those other days that you can get past this one bad day um um we pray every morning as yeah. a family we pray over our marriage we're speaking to our marriage the power of life and death is in the tongue we believe that so our family come together um and we i speak over my kids i speak mm -hmm. over my marriage every single day every day, day. and so and, and we and say that you we grow closer to each other as we, as we grow closer to him yes every single day every single day and so um we we have fun we 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 do lunch together we do movies together and so some some people might say man that's just too much time you know but i i'd rather spend my life with you than spend my life with anybody else you know and i would rather know that I've invested that time so that when I get older or when they leave and start their own families, you won't look and say, well, where did this time go? Right. Like, most, what happened? I'm glad you said that because most of the times in marriage, they've spent so much time going to football games, basketball games, doing stuff for the kids. And then when the kids are gone and it's them they're two strangers, together, yeah. they're like, they have to get to know each I other I again. I don't know you. Right. You're like, you know, I didn't know you. Your eye was like that. <laughs> was <just> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but that is that is a real thing. And so when you talk about uh, creation, mm -hmm. we are creative people. Um, way past making babies. Yeah. Um, we we uh, if you know anything about my my, my music, I always a ask my wife to grace my music by putting her vocals or, or in there because I feel like there's a there's such a cool mesh when she is on my music. Uh, and I ask her opinion on everything. Um, she'll tell me, "Hey, I wouldn't wear those shoes." So I would, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't. Do it, it. You know, so, and, and so I consider, even if I don't, you know, and she doesn't trip if I don't um, pick her way. All right. I, I might, did in the beginning. I, 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 I did, did at first, but I learned. Okay. Like I asked her, "Hey, you like this?" And she was like, "Well, I don't like them shoes." And I'd be like, "All right, all right, all right cool." And then I keep the shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, at first she got mad. Like, I, why didn't you? Why did you ask me? And I, you know, if you, uh, and, and at the end of the day, it was like, I want to make a decision, but I want your input on right. everything that I do. Right. You know, and I want you to love me even if I don't pick your way because right. I'm, you know, and you're I know do for a lot of you wives, that's hard. I know that's hard. If he doesn't pick your way, if he asks your opinion and he he doesn't pick your way, it's hard sometimes. So I had to learn how to say okay. He still I still is, consider. Right. He at least considered what I thought about it. Now, I think the worst one though is if she pick away and another woman. That's why I don't ask no no other woman. Not even my sister sometimes. I, I might ask my sister, I might ask my daughter. But I still have to be careful that if, if I ask my wife and then my daughter picked something else, that if I go with what my daughter does, it, it's gonna make my wife feel a certain type of way. I think we will mature past that. But that was an issue uh, yeah. at one time because I feel some type of way. You be like, man, why you always picking what do you know? And I'll say it. You know, my wife she'll 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 internalize it. I I, I don't have that grace, so I'm, I'm gonna say, man, why you why you always picking what do say, man? You know, you know, because she asked me to start talking, so I just tell her everything. Yeah. I, you know, baby, I don't I don't like how the little workout dude uh, <laughs> is is trying to work out. You know, I mean. 
you know you like yeah he ain't interested in me like whatever you know and so i'm that i'm that husband with a hint of jealousy uh we had to rebuke jealousy i used to I be did, yeah. it used to be jealous mm -hmm. not anymore we had to rebuke jealousy uh we thought it was uh admirable yeah to be jealous of another person near you but it started to have a strain uh because it was exhausting for yeah. me for me it was just exhausting I, it one it was one day and i just said god i just i'm not jealous anymore just period just flat out and it God helped me with that. I mean, immediately. It wasn't like over a period of time. I think God was like, I'm just I'm just waiting for you to say the words. I, I got you. But it was so exhausting and that time and, yeah. and the worry and the who is he with and who is he talking. I, I said, I ain't got time for that. Yeah. I got four kids. I ain't got time for that. So whatever you're dealing with, if you don't like it, get with God. He'll help you with that. Yeah, the trust, the trust. And so we've been through a lot. Um, <clears throat> we've... Uh, had a lot of ups and downs together. Um, my my parents, my mom and my dad is in heaven. We've been through that. Uh, we we've gone through a miscarriage together. Uh, we've gone through some repos together. Come out, hey, where the car at? <laughs> we, <laughs> we've been through it, but we're still here. And I think more than anything, um, for more than having things, there's nothing like having somebody. That's always on your that's side. Just, just, and, and a peaceful house. Yes. I thank God for a peaceful house. Uh, I know we're talking about creation. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about our government. Yeah. And how we create, we've created our own government. Now, we live in the United States. We abide to, those, abide to uh, those laws and those rules. But within our family, at our home, our own kingdom, we created this government and yeah. every and everybody in the family our kids we all understand what the rules what the regulations are and i think that that is so key yeah for each family to do that yeah to create your own government and say okay when this happens then this happens yeah. if i get mad then this is what we're gonna do if uh you know our son is you know upset make sure you don't go to the room and close the door i mean any little things like any things like that I believe is very, very important key. and very key for your even early early family. in our marriage early in our marriage we had the rules um don't go to our in-laws or or I, right. don't go to my mom with problems with my wife don't go to your mom mm -hmm. we just we just had that rule so that we can keep everything <laughs> internal which turned each other back to each other right um you know and so People, I, I, I've gone in rooms that, uh, uh, before. I've gone in rooms before. They know that I was just arguing with my wife. And you better not ask me, are what's you wrong? okay? Right. Like, 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 you just. Oh, what's wrong? Yeah, yeah. you just, you know, uh, 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 Notorious B.I.G. said, problems with my wife, don't discuss them. You know, and so we just understand that that government. See, see what happens is. You know, we might argue, and then we go to our, you know, loved ones or whatever, and then and we, vent, then, right. and, and then we fix it, and, and they then still they're mad. still mad, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of how it happens. So you just keep it inside. These are some of the nuggets that we've learned to live by. But there's nothing like having a peaceful house, a peaceful. Don't nobody drops off or come over to our house with the tea with with the with the latest news and mess because that's a culture um uh that you're building in your house if people drop off mess to your house then your house becomes messy and so i and I they leave it there for you to do yeah with. and they go on about yeah, their business no, no no we don't we don't do it you know and so uh we shoot messengers you know how you be like you know well i'm just coming to tell you don't shoot the messenger no we're gonna shoot the messenger you know we always trail things back to the to the messenger why because that's the stuff that creates mess in your house and so um we, we fight for our marriage and so when you're creating eden the garden of eden mm -hmm. eden is a culture all right there's something there's there's a nationality but then there's a culture mm -hmm. all right and eden was a culture of the kingdom of god and so when you understand the culture of the kingdom when you understand that this is a culture when you come in here we we, we already prayed that your demons get stripped at the door matter of fact right. before you drive up 
They're stripped. Uh -huh. There is no dominion but kingdom dominion in right. this house. So we've already prayed over people so they could be demonic. They could be whatever. There is no authority in my house with what you came here with. Right. We have kingdom authority. So that is what we put in our house. Mm -hmm. And so when. when and wherever when, we are. So wherever. we take it to the restaurant. There we take go. it to the church. We take it to the store. Right. So it's wherever we are as a family. It's, we still have dominion. And nothing like them people say. Your kill your children are so well behaved. <laughs> They're so yeah yeah. I mean okay, what you expect? You know, uh, I mean sometimes they feel like you know because you know you're of a certain ethnic group mm -hmm. that your kids supposed to act a certain way or whatever. But not mine. You know yeah we don't play that. You know At all. when daddy say don't touch nothing, don't touch nothing, <laughs> don't ask me for nothing. They don't ask. They understand that there's a consequence from going against the law of K. Joe and Ramona Jones. And so and, and, and what I always tell them is this is how you govern your house when you get it. Right. So that the kingdom of God is passed on through culture. A lot mm -hmm. of times we read it through the word, but a lot of people don't know how to live, live it. it. Yeah. They don't book know knowledge, live. yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, you got, to, you got to make live book knowledge mm -hmm. a culture. There's, I was used to tell you about my my uh, accounting teacher. Uh, oh, used yeah. to tell us all the ways in, in school uh, how to get money, and they were broke. And I didn't, I didn't understand that. Like you know all the ways of how to get money, but you don't tell, know how to apply uh, but it. you don't know how to apply mm -hmm. it to your own life. And I'm like, no. Uh, when we get, uh, there's one thing about reading the word. There's another thing about living this thing all right and so we have a culture uh, uh that we live by so uh when you talk about uh giving receiving and creating mm -hmm. um one of the things about creation um there's something that god always endowed you got to give you an idea mm -hmm. he'll give you something that nobody's ever uh thought of for your marriage yeah. there's nothing like creating a culture for your marriage uh uh one of the things uh that i didn't like was comparing our relationship to other relationships don't ladies if i can say that baby you can speak to it if you don't agree okay. but ladies don't don't do that i don't want to hear what what susan is doing with her man i just don't want to hear that like just if you if you feel like that's a that's a good idea then you just just do Present it the idea, and let's yeah. just see if it works but don't don't keep comparing me to another dude because you know that's just that's just a, it doesn't feel good yeah. you know and what works that's why god will give you a tailor-made relationship with your wife tailor-made mm -hmm. relationship with your kids and you you'll have your own kingdom government based off the word in your own house yeah and so we, we could talk about that all day um uh the, the 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 creative ability that we have when we come together there's 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 a creativity that we have when we come together there's well my wife she know how to be cute about telling me or you know i'm like baby hey what if we did this what if we did that what if we did she was like yes 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 or <laughs> which is cool <laughs> Uh, and I li and I always like her idea, but if I but she's all, she all, she's mature enough to say, well, I right, I like that, I love that, but I'm gonna go with what I'm doing. But that's cool, and and we learn how to create. Mm -hmm. But most of everything uh, that you that you know about me um, was always signed off by this young lady right here. You know, we we we've done everything together. Um, we believe together. We change together. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, certain things like, babe, I just don't want to do this here no more. Um, I don't. I, let's just let's just change. Let's just let's just do something different. Let's just not do that no more. Right. Uh, that season is over. I'm talking about. Uh, we've gotten um, m men of God spoken to our lives, and we got the word, and we had a a a way of doing things, and mm -hmm. then we came to another level of revelation mm -hmm. to say, let's not do that anymore. And immediately. And and we changed. Yeah. You know, and we change. And a lot of it is a is a, a leap of faith. Yes. So I know it's hard for you ladies sometimes to just trust that man to say, okay, you have to trust that he's hearing from God. That's a, that's number one. So if he's not hearing from God, then of course you're going to be a little leery on, on what to do. But we've done so many leaps of faith that I don't know how to live outside the boat. That's what it is. You're, you're, out, you're out on that water. 
and you're and, and and you're going where where God is leading both of you. I don't know how to just be in a in a cruise ship. In a cruise and ship. Just, That's the just, best way to yeah, say yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how big the cruise ship is, there's way more room outside the boat. Right. The cruise ship is nice. Yeah. You get to eat all day and swim and and you and you dock every now and then to go sunbathing and all that, but it's yeah. still not and, bigger than the ocean or right. so and, much more out there. And and in two weeks uh, depending on how <laughs> how long you've been on that boat, you're gonna be like, man, if I see these people one more time, I'm gonna knock them out. <laughs> to knock I'm them clean somebody up. overboard. Yes. So, no matter how big the cruise ship is, you want to be on a journey with God yeah. on that water. Yeah. And so sometimes it takes leaving old systems. Yeah. Uh, and going uh to a place where you guys are creating together. Yep. Starting a business together, yep. even though you guys may work in different places. Starting a business together just so y'all can spend more time. Mm -hmm. Let Frank uh be a gardener or something. You know, <laughs> raise your uh, you know grow you some watermelon. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Anything. Y'all have a watermelon cellar. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You got some ladies that like to cut grass. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever it is, the point is that do you together. do it together. Mm -hmm. You know, and once you start to create together, you you may, you may come to a point where y'all are making great money separate, like at her job and at your job, but you don't know each other. You don't spend mm -hmm. any time with each other. You bring work home. Your kids are in disarray all, all because of work. And, you know, you may have to start creating things together mm -hmm. so that y'all could just spend time together. And let me oh. tell you, this COVID season yeah. was, I, can I say it? Yeah. Can I just say that that yeah. was the best thing? And I know people are dealing with, you yeah. know, loved ones that's going on yeah. and people that were sick. But for us in this family, yeah. it was the best thing ever because I realized I don't really know my daughter. Yeah. I don't really know my sons like that. I It's so much more that I've learned about my husband. Yeah. And so it was a good, it was a reset for us so that we could create those projects that we're still doing. Now that the world has opened up a little bit, those projects we're still doing, we're still, yeah. um, we've, all of my kids have created companies, yeah. all of them, even my <laughs> six year old, five at the time, he created his company. And so I think it's amazing that, uh, that we were able to do those things together. Yeah. And I think that season God allowed us to see I wouldn't have seen it any other way yeah. I would not have known that we could do this I wouldn't known that my our kids could do that one thing that I, I said was um, when it first hit uh, all the kids came home for uh, school we mm -hmm. had the home school and I, I became the principal and right. you became the coach and so one thing that we did on our, our recess is right. go outside and I realized oh man we have roses in the front of our houses wow and I realized, wow, I was so busy and so on the go and so all these things to do, go to this class, go to this practice, go to this. And now I was literally able to stop and smell the roses yeah, wow. and realize I have all this stuff around me. And so it was a great, a great time for us. Yeah. And we needed, we needed that time. We needed that rest. Um, and so uh, now that, you know, people say things are back to normal. I don't, I don't think they'll, right. they'll ever go back. But our new normal is making sure that we spend that time together. Yep. We're 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 old school eating together at at, at the, the table. table no you know, TVs, once, no once phones. Week, can't bring any iPads, anything. We weren't to the doing table. that before, and, and now know, we are. And, and have that awkward conversation because <laughs> no, you know, we're we're new at it. So it's, it's like we we <laughs> we really have fun. It's like so, Dad. How was your day? <laughs> you know, like you know, like the the. The old school uh, leave TV it shows, or something. yeah, leave it to people. <laughs> wow, um, but it, it's just getting to know each other mm -hmm. because when that time is gone, you can't get it back. Right. And so uh, we uh, today uh, we we've shared a lot of stuff, um, but definitely giving, receiving, and creating. Whatever you do, you do it together. You do it um, uh, by the grace of God. You hear from God. A lot of times when I do take a leap like like baby i remember my first uh huge offering yeah i was like baby the lord telling me to get it x i'm gonna tell you what it was, it was my, my first five thousand dollars yeah i was like man my stomach started hurting i was like man <laughs> come on man i know that i like i rebuke you i think say. we were still sharing fries yeah, at, at, at yeah. uh mcdonald's so and, yeah <laughs> and, and, and um and the, the trip about it is yeah um we was driving your red tracer mm -hmm. and uh you know I, I had a studio but i didn't have a car 
<laughs> and so um, her mom got a a uh, like a uh, retirement from from her job and gave us uh, twenty thousand uh, dollars to buy us a, another car. And I heard from God. He said that this is either a har a harvest or a seed. seed. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and so you know. Uh, that night I checked the ATM uh, You know mama said it's in there And uh, you know I checked it, Called the thing it was like you have $20,000 $1.54 <laughs> Yeah guess how much was in that mug <laughs> Before mama put that mom I'm glad that it wasn't under <laughs> <laughs> Right like, uh, And so uh, I heard God clearly About sowing and giving And I said, man, I told my wife, I said, man, I hear God telling me to sow five grand into the offering. And she was like, let's do it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was thinking that you were going to say, you know, bring up the bills and all that. And she was like, let's jump. And I so, don't argue with God. That wow. Ladies don't argue with God. If your man said God said, now don't use it against, you know, as a weapon. But if, if your man said God said, don't argue with God. Yeah, yeah. That's a winner. And that 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 season changed our life from yeah. that day to this one, uh, and God has been blessing us since, man. So I hope we we giving you some certain things to consider. Uh, understand that you put uh, let no man put asunder what God has put together. Let no man put asunder or divide. All right, to death do, do us part. You speak life into your marriage. Um, the beginning of life. Uh, for any man is the joining of a husband and a wife all right a man male female and so when you guys get together uh if you can create a human being right. you can show them create prosperity yep. peace in your home mm -hmm. all right and so uh i want i want you guys to understand that we are so unamazed at the birth of a child you know, and we're more amazed at becoming a millionaire when God is like, no, you need to understand that the ability that I put on the end, and it's not your responsibility to form that child. It's just it's just your responsibility to sow the seed. Right. And so that's everything in life. Whatever God has told you to do, you do it, and the results of that will be coming either in this season or next season. Amen. So, so I hope... Uh, you know, you, you, you want to say anything else? I hope you guys uh, got something out of that. We, we enjoyed this time. God is awesome. Um, I want to pray real quick, pray over marriages. Um, uh, big shout out to Pastor and First Lady Wilson. Thank you all for allowing us to share uh, yes. with you all. This has been awesome. Um, but uh, let me pray and, and, and then we'll end this. Father God, we love you. Thank you for this awesome day. This is the day that you've made. We rejoice to be glad in it. We thank you, God, for these marriages. And we thank you, God, that your wisdom is coming to each individual uh, that's listening to this uh, broadcast. We thank you, God, that as they hear, they will have the boldness to obey. Thank you, God, that marriages and love is being rekindled. Thank you that love lives are being spiced up. Thank you, God, for more creative ideas to go out and have fun. Thank you, God, for moments being built and not just days passing by. We thank you, God, for this platform. We thank you for this man and woman of God and this this ministry. We thank you, God, that it's blessed and, and it's continuously blessed because they give the kingdom to the people. And we thank you, God, that your kingdom come and your will will be done forever and ever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. We love y'all. Thank you for this time. Peace. Thank you. <laughs>